Good evening. Welcome to News Watch at 5.30. Coming up tonight, do you repair it or replace it? I'm at the location where certainly many a tear has been shed. It is the barbecue graveyard behind friendly fires. At some point, you have to close the lid and walk away for good. But is there a chance you could salvage your barbecue and have it last for a few seasons? We will find out tonight on Friendly Fires, and we'll also find out which one back here is actually, honestly, my barbecue. Started including our barbecue review in just a moment. First, let's check in with the News Watch desk. News Watch at 5.30 continues from, I don't, I don't even know what to call it, the recycler's <laughs> dream, I guess. What's the, what's the eventual destiny for these barbecues, Jason? These barbecues will all be sold to a scrapyard. I mean, we don't make a lot of money on them, but uh, we do get paid by the pound. Um, okay. But they will be recycled. They'll be recycled. They will be recycled for metal. I think one of the things people are concerned about when it comes to repairing or replacing is they're trying to keep from filling a landfill. Um, so it's nice to know that the metal gets recycled anyway. Yeah. Yeah, it's not just going in a dump. Now, I thought we were here in front of ages old barbecues. Uh, one of these is mine, and we'll see that in a minute. Um, but. How old is this barbecue? This barbecue is only about two, three years old. It was actually a barbecue bought at uh, one of our local grocery stores. And you can see how well that they fare. This is an offshore made barbecue. So, And within a year or two, you can see the cooking grade is quite rusted. You can see the heat plate over top of the burner is oh, rusting out. Gosh. And the burner itself is just nothing but rust. The whole bottom of the barbecue is it's, it's falling just apart. rust flakes. So this is so rust is obviously dangerous for our food. Now, uh, behind you, you have a, another barbecue um, that's made it finally here. Uh, yeah. How old is this one? This is actually a Duquesne, which is about uh, roughly about 20 years old. Wow. Well, possibly a little bit longer. Um, the Duquesne was a very good made of, make of barbecues years ago. Um, it just goes to show that you know if you get a good barbecue to start with. You can, you can last a long, long time and you can cook on it with, with good results for quite a long time compared to more cheaply made barbecue. Well, but eventually, you know... Eventually even the good ones are going to go. You, you look at the layer of, of grease on that, keep right. in mind that a barbecue is a cooking appliance. You're cooking food on this. <laughs> at some point you have to say, you know, is it worth cleaning up and replacing all the parts or is it time to get a new, barbecue, get a new barbecue, if, barbecue? If nothing for else, for your own health. You know what? Perfect. Because that leads us to my barbecue. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and I, now that we're here and we're seeing how the others compare, I'm starting to feel just a little bit <laughs> embarrassed. Um, we were cooking on this recently, shall I say. This is all actually right. almost nine years old. Uh, I thought, Jason, that... <clears throat> um, we could simply, because I obviously don't cook on this, my husband does. Mm -hmm. I thought we could replace a grill and replace the burner. Well, you can. Um, a lot of barbecues you are able to get parts for. I mean, you can see the bun rack on this, this upper level. It, this, it, is... It's, this is all just rust that's flaking off. It's it used to be this thick all the way around, and now it's oh, going down this small. Okay. All this rust has gone somewhere, and unfortunately, it's going right onto your food. Okay. So that this, this bun rack... We'll replace that. Right. All right. Okay. It's out of here. Next. Um, your cooking grids actually aren't in too bad a shape, um, but you can see that they are starting to chip and flake off a little bit. Yeah, they they do need a good cleaning, and we can see rust starting to form. When you I, say a good cleaning, is that like with the brush? Like you right. need a good scrub yep. with the wire brush? Exactly. You is take a good brass bristle okay. brush and you scrub it down. When it's really hot, that'll get a lot of the stuff off. Good. But if it's already starting to rust, there's not much you can do but replace the grill. All right, which is easy enough to do if Correct. the rest of the barbecue is in fact worth salvaging. Correct. And we've come to the conclusion. <laughs> Underneath here we can that see we're still cooking with lava rods. Yay! And these again are, are just holding in all the dirt and rust coming from the grills above, particles of food. Uh, not a very healthy environment. All right. And most barbecues nowadays, in fact, all barbecues nowadays have gone away from lava rocks. They all use oh. a uh, stainless steel or enameled steel heat plate over top of the burner. Okay, like that. So, so, so get rid that, of that one's gone. That one's out of here. <laughs> it, it's, almost, it's not looking better. No. And you can see the burner has dipped in because this this uh, grate has rusted and collapsed down on top of the burner, which has caused the burner. And imagine trying to cook on that, like seriously, producing... Yeah. Like, you can see the holes right. here. You've probably got huge flames leaping out of here. You're burning your food all the time with flare-ups. All these flakes down in the bottom, that's all rust off okay. your barbecue. And you said you've been cooking on this, <laughs> I'm sorry, recently. Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. It's in your hands. 
Uh, when we come back, Jason, I want to take a look at the parts that we can simply replace and, you know, how we move on to maybe an entry-level new barbecue. Sure, absolutely. Okay. So we'll take a look at that. I'm going to say my final goodbyes, uh, which I'm sure, bye-bye, my husband will be very, very happy about. Here's what's coming up next on Newswatch at 530. News Watch at 530 continues, uh, and we're closer to the parts department now. We've stepped away from the very sad <laughs> graveyard, and closer to the parts department, this is the replacement burner. Correct, yep. This is a burner, actually, for a Broil King barbecue, and the difference between this and a general replacement burner is that Broil King burners use end caps on their burners, so you don't have an H burner. There's no heat out on the side, which means you have cold spots on the ends of your barbecue. Oh. This carries heat all the way out to the sides. And that's why we really recommend going with the replacement burner. They're also warrantied for five years, and they have solid venturi tubes. They're not flexible. They don't rust out within a couple months. Okay, and so five years. Five-year warranty on, on the broken burners, yeah. Fantastic. And uh, grills were another thing that we saw was a common problem out there in the graveyard. Yep. Most of the cheaper barbecues use what's just a porcelain on steel rod, just a very thin rod, and that's what we saw rusting right thin. Yeah, like on my barbecue. The, bo the Boro <laughs> Kings use a porcelain cast iron. It's much better for cooking because it holds the heat, but you still have the problem of the porcelain over time chipping and flaking off and getting into your food. Most times we're going to recommend something like what a Napoleon or Weber have, and that is a solid stainless steel rod. These these cooking grids are warrantied for 10 years and then 50% for the rest of your life. Okay. Solid stainless steel, they hold the heat, they sear your food really well. Besides the fact that my barbecue looked terrible, the replacement parts and work was at like about $250. Correct. Uh, which, which means I, I can walk away from it and I can get a new barbecue. Yes. yes. Yeah, for about $250 plus taxes and labor, you're looking at almost the price of an entry level Broil King right over here. Uh, now, and we're going to note that these are all North American made barbecues that we're going to see right now. Absolutely. Okay. We do not sell any offshore barbecues. All our barbecues are North American made, built either in Canada or the U.S. Go Bro ahead. <laughs> Tell. Royal King is made in Waterloo. Uh, they've been in business for approximately 50 years. You're looking for $400. You've got a barbecue that has a 25 year, or sorry, lifetime warranty on the bowl and the lid. Five year really? warranty. Lifetime. On, lifetime on the bowl and the lid. All right. Uh, tw five year warranty on the burner and two year warranty on the cast grills. Not bad for a $400 barbecue. The best thing is, is that five, ten years down the road, you can still get parts because it is a Canadian company. Ah, and, and with a lifetime on the bowl, if the rest of it, I replace it another five, ten right. years, the insides, then this is going to continue on. How long could this last possibly? The oldest Burl King I've sold parts for was 33 years old. Holy smokes. Yeah. Okay. Now, the one thing I always recommend to people when they're shopping around for barbecues, even if you're in a grocery store or a hardware store, is grab the owner's manual from the display model. All right. Open it up to your warranty section. Take two seconds and read that before you shell out a couple hundred dollars. If you're looking at a barbecue that looks all stainless steel and the warranty says it's only one year, it's not stainless steel. What would it be? It's, it's a thin coating of stainless steel over oh, top of regular steel. Okay. And, and again, within a year, you're rusting out. You saw the barbecue in the back. It's not stainless steel, but it's only, it's only going to last two, three years. This barbecue, this one, Kevin, I mean, uh, Kevin is seeing all the beautiful barbecues here, but he said this would do. This would satisfy the, the needs for some decent cooking. And this is, this is Canadian made, but it's, it's also higher end barbecue. Why? Correct. This is a Napoleon barbecue made in berry. It's higher end because the warranty they apply to these barbecues, you're looking at 10 years on the lid, the casting, the cooking grates, the burner, all your stainless steel, your oh. knob, your lid, your, your wheels, almost everything in this barbecue is 10 year warranty and then 50% okay. for the rest of your life. So the, let the warranty be your guide and the availability of replacement parts? Correct. And um, Generally, North American made barbecues, you can get parts, all the offshore barbecues. We have a very tough time acquiring parts okay. for those barbecues. Lots to think about, and I've got some shopping to do, apparently. Thanks very much. Great You're tips welcome. here, Jason. Uh, okay, speaking of uh, tips and getting in uh, good taste with your barbecue, we want to move on to the Vineyards of Workworth.